We are back for another week of Nobody Wake the Bugbear. This is episode five of season three. John, thoughts? Okay, so I made my I built my character as an heir of Del Zoon archetype. And I thought I'd play a little bit against type. I'm like, not a dwarf that's a proud nationalistic dwarf or from a great dwarf family. I'm just a little steely little dwarf. And then for the entirety of the game, before we started filming, the, uh, recording the podcast, I was doing outside errands with this lingering duty in the back of my head, these ghosts of the past, until eventually I felt I had got in enough with the group that I could ask them to do this for me. And it was great. And then we spent the whole first season seeking the way in. And we eventually found the Seekers of the Way, and it was only at the end of that season that we figured the way to get into the River of Flame. At the beginning of the second season, we went through the River of Flame, and finally got to the doors. I thought, oh, thank God, we're going to get inside the, the doors. In like two episodes. In like two episodes. Across a giant lake. I thought, oh, it's going to take, take us a couple episodes to get across this lake. It's just a little wet. It's still good. No. Then the Ashma die, then Carnathrax, then the Drow, all this nonsense. Then the Giant takes an entire season for us to fight this battle with... Like two, like two like bosses, three, three two bosses. episodes, four episodes, something like that. And I'm like, okay, well, thank God, the entire second season is is through. And then it's like, oh, finally, in the third season, we're gonna get through the doors. And then, for whatever reason, <laughs> you I left, go, you I, left the cavern, and I, Anastasia yes, begged you yes, to not do it. Yes, I I took command, and I, was, I thought I was being so mature. And then we come back to the B team, and I was like, ooh, let's search for the A team as much as physically possible, so that we can prolong the plot. And I want to go to the doors. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? You know what you could do, right? You could just, ah! just leave the. Here's the other team. thing: when we get back there, there could be a Carnathrax waiting for us. <laughs> oh, for fuck's <laughs> sake! Can you go back into the cavern? He's, he's curled up in front of. The door. Which is why, we, which is why Andrew Much planned this all sweet. along, because then we'd have the A team and the B team to fight a whole dragon. He's like, yeah, that was that took an hour. That took an hour. That took an hour. Oh, and that's as, two hours. Yeah, that's about time. And then Asmodeus appears in a vision <laughs> in front of Labra and says. I want you to go into Gordelgrim. <laughs> oh! <laughs> and then Finn looks like, you're not going inside. I'm sorry, I have to the devil. Labra, and then they and as he sees his sight upon the fire drake, hears a voice inside his head. Uh, side with the dragon. Fire dragon. I adjust glasses, do you believe? Yeah. <laughs> side with the dragon. What? Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just don't care. I want to go inside. <laughs> 